Hi all, welcome back. We're at home on a Sunday afternoon and we've just cranked our fire up and this is what we do of a weekend in winter when we don't go camping. We like to have a roast, cook a roast outside on our little fire. We made this little fire pit out here for that reason and we will be cooking a lamb roast in the camp oven with vegetables. So the fire's going, we'll get the coals going, we'll get everything set up. All right, so here's our leg of lamb and it is a 2.1 kilo. So that will feed, this will probably give us a couple of nights dinner. We have our son Ben here, not sure whether he'll eat it. And we also have some Wagyu beef sausages and while the lamb's cooking and before I put all the vegetables in, we normally throw the sausages in and they are amazing. I'll give you a tip. If you do that, once I make up all the liquid stuff, originally we put Aldi sausages in there and they were in there for about half an hour and they sucked up all the juice and they blew up in the camp oven and it was pretty gross to be honest so yeah we buy um, better sausages now for that so what we're going to do for the liquid I normally put two of these in which is Master Foods beef and red wine casserole so we'll dump those in I normally do them two at a time like that. I'm sure everybody has their own version of their recipes for the camp oven with lamb. But this is how we like it. Um, and when I get to the vegetables, we will put onto these Whole potatoes in the tin and we we're like oh that's gross but this is a game changer these are amazing aren't they yeah we the first time we had them we were like wow anyway back to here a tin of diced tomatoes Ooh. just whack it all in together Meanwhile, outside, we have our camp cooker warming up because it's supposed to be that you shouldn't put anything in there cold. Now, yesterday, I couldn't actually get any stock. So I just bought this beef flavoured stock from Aldi. So... Yeah, I just put whatever in there. I'm not sticking to any particular recipe. Excuse me, pets. And Here comes another one. Actually, I'll put some water in here first. It's almost like it's almost like it's boiling the lamb, but it doesn't taste boiled. It's more like slow cooked. Yeah, well, like by the time we get it in, normally it falls off the bone. And we actually, I have made this while we've been camping with our camp friends and our mate Justin. He's a really, really small eater. And when I made it, he sat there and he said to us, didn't he? I just can't stop eating it. <laughs> and another one of Adrian's friends came over from New Zealand and I cooked it out the front. And he was the same. He was, this is the best lamb I've ever had. And he actually went back and he was telling people about it. So I don't even worry about like 
the stock if it's not completely soaked in because once it gets hot it'll break down anyway um, oh, I always do that hey so whole garlic cloves um, I have been doing my own garlic lately but I found these in the cupboard and I need to use them up so we'll put some whole cloves in there however many you want There's no rules when it comes to cooking. Pop that in the fridge. Give that a stir. So our camp oven is probably warm enough now. So I'm going to cut the lamb out of here. And to be honest with you, I don't leave that netting on it. I'm just going to take this out of here and we will pop it in the camp oven. So that's our lamb, I've taken the shell off. I'll break open the snaggies. So the lamb has been popped in along with sausages and here goes the mixture. And then the lid will go back on. Put the garlic, everything is in there. I'll pop the lid back on make sure people you use the heat glove oh. is that on mm -hmm. and then what we'll do the coals are ready to go on top Look how red they are, red and hot. And then I just normally put them into place. Just make sure like you're pretty even on top so everything cooks through. And we may even get to the stage where we put some more coals on or straight from the fire. So that'll cook down probably That'll probably be two hours, so I'll just need to check the time. The sausage is probably half an hour, and then maybe 40 minutes before it's ready, all the veggies will go in. So we have just got the sausages out. They are full of flavor. We're just gonna let them cool down. Um, in about half, 20 minutes, I'll put the carrots on and then the carrots and the onions and then the last to go in will be the, the potatoes because they're pre-cooked so we're just heating them through here's the taste tester <laughs> oh yes please mm. amazing sorry about that background noise guys and me eating with my mouthful, talking with my mouthful. That's amazing, it's amazing. So here we are. I'm not gonna get too close so the camera doesn't fog up, but this is it. I'm going to dish up, do the carving, and plate it so give me a second before i show you how it's plated so everybody that is a wrap for cooking outside um i like to have a lot of the syrup that i made for it on my meat whereas adrian doesn't so Oh, we're fogging up. That's what we have left for tomorrow night. Oh, I've got a tickle in my throat. Um, and all these veggies, and there's still veggies underneath because we have a trivet in there. So that's another feed for tomorrow night. 
so that is it thanks for watching guys see you